Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This morning I am out at a very foggy Lake Mugara in the scenic rim here in southeast Queensland. I do have a confession to make. This audio was recorded after shooting the video. I'm having some difficulties with either my wireless microphone transmitter or my lav mic randomly dropping out, but half of my video clips didn't have any sound. I do think I got some really good photos and video footage this morning, so I still really wanted to make a video. I do hope you enjoy it. Just seen this beautiful bird down here roosting on a dead tree. I think he's some kind of egret or heron or something similar. Uh, so I've just framed him up 160 of a second f4. I've switched to the switch to the 150 mil. So I'm just going to take this shot before he flies away. I'm going to reframe it a little bit to get him in a different spot in the frame. He's just sitting nice and still down there. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to try and take a picture out over to that uh, to that dirt over the other side of the lake there. It may not actually be an island, it might just be the shore of the lake, the shore of the lake extending this way as the water drops. So I've just seen there's a group of birds sitting out near the shore over there. So I've just composed that. I'm just going to take a meter reading and shoot that. I will probably shoot that at about f11. Um, it's pretty. It's going to be pretty abstract, which is nice. Pretty minimal. There's not much out there, so I'm going to uh, meter this one and take that now. So it's giving me f11 and 130th of a second. So I'll just uh, set my exposure now. It's quite eerie out here, which is very cool. So I might. Uh, get a bit closer to the lake and see if I can get some other interesting compositions. After the last shot, I was finished the roll of Fuji Pro 160 color film, so it was time to load some black and white. Black and white can look really amazing on moody mornings like this one. I chose to use the 100 ISO Fujifilm Acros. It was an expired roll, but had been cold stored. This film has been discontinued and replaced by a new formula. I really like it for its slow speed and medium to high contrast.
I really wanted to try and get as close to the bird as I could without scaring him away. I thought it'd be really great if I could almost fill the frame with him. I'm just about to take what I think is going to be my last exposure of the morning. Uh, I'm up to the last frame of my Fujifilm black and white. Um, so I've, I'm framing up a shot of a couple of dead trees just sitting in the lake. Something a little more abstract than I might usually take, but it's pretty nice I think. Um, you will be able to see the other side of the lake in the background because the fog has cleared a bit. But I'm going to use a large aperture 5.6 to try and separate that a little bit, blur that out a little bit. Um, so I've got a 5.6. I'm just going to double check my exposure, I think. I might go f5.6 and 1 20th of a second. A 1 25th on this camera. I think I'm pretty happy with that composition. I've got focus. I've got my exposure set. Lock the mirror up, even though it's a fairly fast shutter speed. And there it is, I think that'll be my last exposure of the morning. Last, but definitely not least, I'd love to share what I think is my favourite shot of the morning with you. I really love how minimal it is and the layers of fog. Thank you so much for watching and bearing with me through my equipment issues. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments you may have and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to see you again soon.